Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Sunday, half past three o'clock. My working day starts. I'm still in the Künstlergasse, but now I gotta go to Innsbruck. Another travel vlog going to Innsbruck because as you know I'm working for the Museum of Economics and for the Museum of Economics I'm doing some presentations about financial topics, about the banking system, the monetary system and so on. And I'm actually not working in Innsbruck but at two schools next week in Tirol which are quite a bit away from Innsbruck but I'm gonna sleep in Innsbruck I've booked an Airbnb there and we will see how this is going to be pretty exciting so yeah for the Museum of Economics that's basically the main job I'm doing at the moment where I'm earning my living most of the time second job I'm doing is at the University of Graz where I'm giving a seminar I gave one last semester I'm gonna give one next semester also about economics but I'm teaching there some future teachers so it's a quite a challenge quite interesting I really love giving this seminar those are like the two um, yeah basic income sources I'm having at the moment some other jobs I'm doing is working for my dad's company. Sometimes we're giving some team training, seminars, management trainings, consulting. That's also awesome and interesting, but not very often for me to join him there. Yeah, and those are basically the income sources I have. I'm really thinking a lot on how to change things, on what I want to do more, what I want to do less. Because I've also done, I've also uh, finished the surf instructor license for wave surfing two years ago and I would really love to work like this summer as a surf instructor somewhere, just being at the beach, working, hanging out with the guys, going surfing. It's an awesome job and I just did this like four weeks working I had to do for the surf instruction license and I really enjoyed it so I'm really not thinking about doing this this summer but I, have, I I can't get moving there I can't go to the phone call some people and get a job somewhere I don't know why no motivation there Yeah, otherwise I'm vlogging daily. I've now started taking off on Instagram too. If you haven't added me yet on Instagram, you should definitely do, do that. Yeah, and then there's Patreon for Change. Patreon for Change is the platform I've been working on with my friend Helmut. Helmut, for which is like a platform for change makers where change makers can present themselves where they can present them, their lives and their projects and where they can inspire others and maybe find some patrons which or who can get them a basic income. So that's the, the idea for Patron for Change to be like this platform for people to present themselves and to also get some monetary income so they can 
uh, work more on their special pro projects which can't exist yet on the market. That's basically the idea of Patrick for Change. And Helmut and me and I, we've been working on this since last spring. And yeah, some challenges there. It's always difficult to work on it while working on our other projects and having a work for income, of course. So that was just a short summary of where I am at the moment. So what are my values and what are the reasons for many things which I'm doing? Well, first of all, I want to live the most conscious, respectful, like good living I can live, be sustainable, show others by my own actions what is good and what is bad, not telling others, hey, do this and that, but actually being the change you wish to see on earth, that's at least one idea how I would like to live. It's not always easy. It's not always to do this. It's not always easy to execute it, but at least I'm trying to. So, for example, I don't eat any meat anymore. Because eating meat is totally, totally, totally not sustainable. If you eat one burger, you are pushing out the same amount of CO2, I don't know, like going from here to France and back with the car. So if you stop eating meat, it's so much, so much better for the environment. It's one of the worst things you can do actually according to many scientists, if you believe in global warming caused by human beings. I mean, that's also something you can discuss, but I believe in it somehow and that's why I stopped eating meat. Then I'm trying to reduce my waste. I mean, that's also not so easy reducing your waste, but I'm aware of that we have to reduce our waste because it's also totally not sustainable. So there are a lot of things I'm trying to change and I'm slowly changing. It's not that easy, but it's always, I think, good to work on yourself and try to change, start to change at yourself. That's something I've realized. Don't try to change somebody else, but try to change your own actions. Try to behave good and do good and talk about it. thing I'm doing because my job is connected to this car I have to use this car for this job I mean I could also quit the job and go on go to the IMS to the unemployment service of course I wouldn't get any money there but but I'm have, I'm doing this job now so I'm bound to this car and I've said to myself okay I'm going only 100 kilometers per hour maximum so I'm driving quite slow, which is better for the environment, less stress, safer, less noise, the car doesn't get used uh, so much. So a lot of advantages and that's why I'm only going 100 kilometers per hour, although here you can go 130 on the highway. So I'm having a lot of like certain values and I'm trying to live according to them values like honesty I'm trying to live a very honest life being honest with myself being honest with others being honest with my feelings being honest with the feelings towards others and also telling like those feelings even if it's sometimes also very difficult to do this so honesty is important for me reliability is very important for me so that I'm a reliable person that I do what I say if I say something I act accordingly, at least I'm trying to. 
And for me, that's also important from others. That's what I realized. For me, it's important to be surrounded by people who do what they say. I don't like people who say, yeah, I'm going to do this and that, and then they don't do it. I don't think that's a fair and a good way of behaving. There are some other values like, for example, work. I, tr I do believe that you have to work yourself. You cannot always ask somebody else to pay for you. You cannot always be dependent like on the state and say, oh yeah, there's the state anyway and the state is going to pay because the state is always somebody else who's paying and who's working. So in my opinion, and I'm always also struggling with this, but in my opinion, if you are able to work, you should work, you should contribute, you should do something for others. Putting in some work is an important value for me. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing all those jobs. There are two more things I forgot when talking about myself and what I'm doing. First of all is community. One of my also important things in my life is communities and how they are working and how they are functioning. I live in a community house, I live in a Künstlergasse, a community project I also co-founded with others together and it's always interesting, you can always learn something about how people live together, work together spend their time together, stick together, fall apart. So that's really something which I find interesting also to see what are the other community projects in Austria. There is a lot of happening in this area. I would love to show you more of this and take a look at, for example, Fering and for example, I don't know, the Wohnprojekt Wien and all the other projects in Austria. So much happening there such an interesting topic so yeah Künstlergasse.at is the place I'm living in and the last topic I forgot was the gift economy and economic topics for uh, example other economic topics of course like I was studying a lot like monetary systems and trade systems and now I came to the point where the gift economy is some sort of things I'm interested in. I've written a book about the gift economy. Uh, I founded an association which is called Wiener Kreis der Schenkökonomie. And so I've been doing a lot in this direction which I haven't now in the last few well months haven't been working on too much but gift economy is still a topic which interests me like alternative economic systems than only market economy or communism what are different systems that's of course something and all those topics are intertwined they are stick to, they, they they get together for example living in a community always shows me okay how is it also living in a state and what's the economy in a little community compared to the economy in the big picture and what can you change in a little what you could also change in a big system so for me as a scientist and as somebody who is interested in economic topics this is always something which you can connect and where you can yeah, study and research interesting topics I wish I had more energy and more time to focus on those fields and make more films about this maybe in the future Salzburg and getting close to the border between Austria and Germany if you look onto the map you can see that if you go from Vienna to Innsbruck you have to go through Germany over a small 
hard and I'm now I don't know how it's gonna be uh, the border control because since the refugee crisis there is border control only on the highway which is of course totally stupid to do it only on the highway and control nothing else but we will see if I have to stay, stand in traffic coming close to Germany like 1989 <laughs> and we are in Germany so welcome to the German highway where there is no speed limit and you can go as fast as you wanna go 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 I'm going a hundred kilometers per hour I've reached my destination Paris no I'm in Innsbruck and this is my room this is my Airbnb room very cool look what I have here Thank you. 